you guys, welcome back to Beauty by Mile. Today's video is gonna be my April favorites, and I know I'm like a week late. Let's just move on from it and just get right into them. I have a lot of things to talk about. So I'm gonna try to move this along very quickly. Um, but before I do that, I did wanna ask you guys a question. Um, if you guys have been here from the beginning, you know that I've always filmed my Boxy Charm and Ipsy unboxings. But I don't know if I wanna keep doing that on my channel, so I was looking for your feedback. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like still want me to do that, because I know there's a lot of other beauty channels that do it as well. So let me know. Anyway, I am super excited that it is May. Finally May, May is my birthday month and it's just the best month in the entire year, I'm just saying, but I did have a lot of successful makeup finds, I, you could say, in the month of April, so I did want to share that with you guys, so let's just get started. As a primer for the month of April, I really, really started using this Josie Marin Argan Illuminizer. This is beautiful, it is a gorgeous, like gold champagne frostiness it's just heavenly it is so beautiful and I've been using it as a primer because my skin lately has been a little bit dry so I'll just use this in conjunction with the mattifying primer or by itself and it is just absolutely beautiful it's just a perfect perfect product for the spring and summer because it gives you that glowy goddessy look so I've been loving this and I have also fallen head over heels for this makeup forever HD foundation I have it in the shade N120 I have been wanting to try this for a really long time, but I know that it's better suited for dry to normal skin. And because I get so oily, I haven't, I don't know, I've just been scared to do so. But I finally gave in, I got a sample, and I loved the way it sat on my, I just loved everything about it. The way it sat on my skin, the way it looked, it was very flawless, it's beautiful. Because I have oily skin, I will say that it doesn't like last the whole day. But, I mean, if you blot, it, it'll be fine. Like, if you have oily skin, you can get away with this. Just either use a mattifying primer or just know that you will be touching up throughout the day. But, I've loved it. And then, I fell in love with the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. And this is new and everybody's been talking about this. I love it. I don't know if I would say it's a full-on pigment, but it is such a very... It's, like, it's just a really unique product. And I feel like you just put two little drops of this or three or how much coverage you want into your foundation, into your primer, into your oil, whatever you want and it is bomb. It'll give, it'll instantly make it full coverage without like, like it just blends with everything really really well. It'll just make whatever you mix it into a foundation. Like it's so cool. And you can control how much coverage you want which is always a great thing. Like seriously this thing is super duper cool. And I love it. I have the shade G50 because I mix it in with this one. This one's too light and this one's too dark, so it makes it perfect. For concealer this month, I have been using my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealers non freaking stop Like, these are really, really good. They smell like the MAC Pro Longwear Concealers, which for some apparent reason I find to be, like, amazing. I have the shade Light Warm and Light Neutral. I initially bought Light Warm. It was okay, but a little bit too light. And then I bought light neutral and just kind of like blends into my skin. It doesn't do much. So these two mixed together is perfection. These are really, really good. They're really full coverage. They're really lightweight. I will say that they can be a little bit drying. I don't know if it's just me because my skin has been really dry. But when I do moisturize, they work perfectly fine. It's just a really good product. Now in the month of April, I didn't really get a lot of sleep, so I decided to pick up something that would brighten my under eyes. And while concealer is good to cover and brighten, it doesn't cover my dark circles. Like I needed something to color correct. So I picked up the Pixi Brightening Peach Correction Concealer. And it just looks like this. And it's a very salmon-y concealer, and it does a wonderful job at hiding your under eye circles and it just brightens it all up very subtly it's not like a crazy like if you want you could just put this under your eye set it a little bit and you're good to go if you just want to cover your under eye circles so i've really been loving this product i highly recommend it to set my under eyes i use my laura mercier secret brightening powder all month long i love it i'm using it today whoa i'm wearing it today and it just really brightens it's just a white super super finely milled powder and it just like sets your under eye 
flawlessly it looks airbrushed it doesn't cake anything up down there and it really really brightens so I find this to be an amazing amazing product and it, like I highly highly recommend it for contouring and bronzing I am like beyond in love with girl lactic products I'm in love there's quite a few girl lactic products in this favorites video oh my god they're so good they're a little bit pricey um, I know the bronzers are like 26 um, the lip paints are like 23 so they are a little bit pricey they're more on the high end but they're not as expensive as like some benefit products some hourglass products of course hourglass they're just a little bit more affordable so I love these two this is the uh, matte bronzer in Cabo and this is amazing it is a perfect neutral contouring bronzy shade and I love it I'm wearing it today as my contour and then to bronze up my skin um, they have face glows they have one in natural and they have one in bronze I bought the bronze because I just thought it was beautiful and of course it's a little bit too dark as a highlight but to bronze up my skin this is beautiful. It's what I use. If you see a little bit of glow there around my, the perimeters of my face, it's this. It's beautiful. It bronzes up the skin so nicely. And for deeper skin tones, this would be a bomb highlight. So great product. I have like four highlights. I am highlight obsessed. The first one I want to talk about is from Girlactic as well. And this is their Face Glow in Natural. Now, I'm wearing this mixed with another highlight that I have to show you guys. And I, do you guys see the glow? Mm. Oh my god. You can use it very, very lightly if you just want a natural everyday glow. Or you can pack it on and give like an intense super glow on your face. So love this. Again, all of her powders are so amazing. And she's just the sweetest thing. Um, you guys should definitely invest in her products. She's just somebody that you guys should support. Just go do it. Now, the other highlight that I have is the Hourglass Luminous Light Ambient Lighting Powder. So this is another soft, subtle highlight that can really, really pack a punch once you pack it on. This is just a perfect, soft, and romantic highlight. It is perfect for every day. It is perfect for brides. It is perfect for glamorousness if you want to pack it on. So I have been loving this. I've been using those two highlights non-stop and then when I want to get a little bit fancy like a little bit more intense I've really been into like these white gold highlights the first one I want to talk about is NARS Albatross now this looks pretty like just white in the pan but once you swatch this you're like oh, what is that glow that heavenly glow it is like golden perfection and I absolutely love it. I've been using it when I get really, really glammed up and I'm just like, <sighs> NARS cheek products are amazing. Before I purchased Albatross, I had already purchased Milani's gel eyeshadow and this is the highlighter shimmer one in Bella Chiffon. And once I got Albatross, I realized this reminds me of something and I went and I swatched this and I freaked out at how close these are. Now this is primarily an eyeshadow but you can do whatever you want with makeup so I use this as a face highlight, as a cheek highlight. It's five bucks and if you're on a budget and you want something very similar to Nars' Albatross, this is definitely very comparable and I love it. It's really, really good. My go-to blush for the month of April, without a doubt, was Sigma's Cheeky Powder Blush. It's perfect for every day. If you're really fair skin, you dab it very lightly and it gives you a beautiful flush to the skin. If you want to get bolder, you definitely can pack it on. It is a matte blush. I love it. It lasts a really long time on the skin. It's the blush that I'm wearing today. And this is only $12. I was really curious to try this. Um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this shade in specific. And I'm glad I did because I love it. The first eyeshadow palette that I want to show you guys is from Wet n Wild. And this is for their spring collection. And this is in California Roll. I don't know if these are still available or if you can find them. But if you can snag some of these, do so. This is, I have two, and out of the two, this is my favorite one. This shade is actually what I'm wearing as a transition shade. It is beautiful. And every shade in here is really, really pigmented. There's only one, this one, that I feel like, it's not bad, but it has a little bit of like glitter chunkiness. I don't know, but it doesn't feel chunky. But besides that one, they are all like super pigmented. I love that it's called California Roll because if you think about it, it looks like a California Roll. You got the seaweed, you got the crab, 
and then all the other stuff, I don't know. But it reminds me of a California roll. So this was really, really, really like used by me this month. And another palette is the Too Faced Natural Matte Palette. Now, ah, oh, this is a great palette. It's just all matte. You guys know how I love my mattes. It has for day, for classic, and for fashion looks. And I just love them. I feel like you get nice and neutral. You get a little bit more taupey, mauve Not completely cool tone, but there are some cool tones in there. And then you get your warm section, which is just everything. I'm wearing this one to buff out my under eye. I'm wearing this one uh, mixed in with this shade. Um, and I'm wearing this to deepen it out in the crease and as my highlight, uh, my brow bone highlight. And I just absolutely love this palette. It blends amazingly. It is a perfect, perfect addition to any collection because you can just use it with so many other things, like with so many other palettes. It's just perfect. Now this palette is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Contour Palette. Oh my god, this is perfect. I love it. This is what it looks like. I have a, a first impressions slash tutorial on this palette and I will link it down below. I love it. I don't really want to get into it because you guys will see in that video. And finally, how could I not mention Kathleen Light's quad? It is an amazing, amazing quad. You guys should definitely get it. Kathleen Light's is the best and I feel like she's someone that should definitely be supported because uh, she kicked butt with this. And these are the shades right here. Um, I'm using this one right here, which is Blaze. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm using that on the lid today, and I love it, and it's perfect, and I really think that you guys should check out the look I created, and yeah, hear more thoughts on that, and that it will be linked down below for sure, so. To prime my eyes, literally the only primer that I've been using is my NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And this is so amazing. It is great for oily lids. It really keeps your eyeshadows on all day and I just love it it is pricey um I would have never purchased a full size had I not tried the sample because I was like uh -uh, I'm trying to pay $28 for no primer but it's good and I like it and if you have really oily eyelids and you need something to keep your eyeshadow there all day long especially now for the spring and summer pick it up like just invest in it just do it because if not you work so hard to put all your eyeshadow on for it to just kind of slip right off so just saying. For eyebrows, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but this is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I have been using the crap out of this for my eyebrows. It's actually what I use today. It's the only thing I use, and then I just set it with the brow gel. But it is really, really good. It has just enough pigment, so if you're a beginner, you will not get too heavy-handed. And you will be able to just kind of like make your little mistakes, but slowly build your brow this is my favorite shade and this is in the shade ash brown and it's just a perfect like everyday shade for me um i feel like my anastasia one can get a little intense um so i have been loving this and it comes with the spoolie and it is awesome and it's only ten dollars i have talked about this mascara quite a lot i think on my channel and it is the maybelline lash sensational mascara this is so amazing i originally purchased this because i didn't want to dish out the money for the benefit roller lash and i felt like the brush was very similar and i am so so glad that i did it is beautiful it just leaves well it's not beautiful but it makes your lashes beautiful i have mine in black is black and i just love the way it makes your lashes look it curls them it holds it it just like fluffs them out it gives some length it stays on it doesn't smudge this is the best like the best and finally lips so my lips have been real chappy and i've really been liking this malin goets um I'll, I'll list it down below um it's a mojito lip balm and i really like how like it's not super minty but it really really refreshes but what i love is how thick it is it's very vaseline feeling it's really, really thick. I'm almost done with it. It makes me really sad. But I've been using this as like an, my overnight lip balm. And it is working wonders. I love it. And yeah, I've really been enjoying that. I have two Girlactic Matte Lip Paints that... I have four, but these are the two that I've really, really been reaching for. And the first one is Demure. This is the one that I was wearing in my last tutorial, which I will link down below. And this is just a beautiful, beautiful, like very deep, mauve shade. Love it. It's perfect. Her lip paints feel amazing on the lips. They're not drying. They're so pigmented. They like 
they dry, you just feel the slightest tackiness. It's just really, really amazing. And the one that I'm wearing today is Starlet. And they're just beautiful, perfect, everyday shades. Um, it just depends how, like, what mood you're in. Lighter pinky, more mauve. It's just perfect. Love them. Probably my favorite liquid lipsticks of all time. And the lip liner that I'm wearing under it is from NARS. And this is NARS El Agua. It's a beautiful, like, purpley, pinky, kind of mauve shade. It took me a while to get this, but I finally just, like, gave in. Like, I've really, really been into these shades lately. And I absolutely love this. It's so creamy, so pigmented. It doesn't tug because it's retractable. So if you have very dry lips and you don't like products that are like wood pencils and like tug at your lips, you don't gotta worry about it with this one because this one doesn't tug at your lips. And it has like this little thing at the end, like uh, on the end side, that just like sharpens the point of this. So you never have to sharpen it either. I recently got it into the Sephora Cream Lip Stains and this is by far my favorite shade. This is African Violet. Oh my lord. So it's like a pinky, like a really bright lilac pink. Um, it has a lot of purple to it and that's what I love the most. I feel like it's not so bright that you're like, oh, that's a bright freaking lip. But it's enough that, you know, you make a statement. It's a statement lip, but it's not too, too much. Um, I love this. I've been wearing this non-stop. They feel really, really nice on the lips. Um, they're very lightweight and that's like, they're just really, really good. Very affordable. 13 bucks. Go get some. I have a NARS Audacious Lipstick, and this is in the shade Dominique, and this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. I want to say it's like a dusty lilac. It's not a pastel lilac. It's like a dusty purple gray lilac. It is such a unique shade. I absolutely love it. I didn't think that I'd be able to pull this off, and I wore it, and I was like, perfection. And I love pairing these two together. So the NARS Alagua and Dominique. And it's just a match made in heaven. You guys know how I feel about the NARS Audacious Lipsticks. They're just life. Expensive, but they're life. And I have been loving, loving this one. And my last absolute favorite is you guys. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. I hit a thousand subscribers and I cannot believe it. My original goal was to hit a thousand subscribers by my birthday and you guys helped me do that before. I actually did it the 29th of April because I was like, oh my god. This is amazing. So thank you guys so, so much for subscribing. Let me know what you guys want to see. I am here to give you guys what you want. So thank you guys again so much. I love you guys so, so much. You guys have been my favorite part of April, my favorite part of the year. Thank you. Like, seriously, thank you. And if this is your first time seeing my channel, then please subscribe it would mean everything to me and make sure to subscribe i'm just saying because i have a little special video coming up next week so make sure you're subscribed you don't want to miss out i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys next time bye